Just a terrific win, real gutsy win, uh, you know, coming off two emotional wins on the road. We didn't make much out of the home thing. I, I talked to the upperclassmen and said we'd just, you know, stay focused and intense like you are on the road, and uh, we're going to have the cr crowd to feed off of, and, and, and you know, they were terrific. Uh, um, I thought Bucknell played a terrific game. I thought 21 was, was great. We, we knew she's a terrific freshman, and she really played well. And um, I thought the, uh, the orange defense, the half-court trap, got us back in the game in the first half. Uh, we went on an 11-0 run, and, uh, and that got us back in it. And then I thought Raquel was really good on the top of the press, and we got them going our way in the second half with the full-court pressure to get that lead again, and then we played enough five defense. But we couldn't play them zone the way they were shooting the ball, so we had to uh, mix things up. And I, I just thought these guys, you know, uh, Raquel and, and Lise are our, our veterans. You know, uh, Emily's played a lot of minutes, but she's a, a center. Uh, and th these guys have been there before. And, and, and I think, uh, you know, I'm looking to them and everyone's looking to them. And, and uh, Rocky makes a big hoop, a uh, lot of big hoops, but a big one late. And then Lisa calls a uh, dive late in the shot clock and makes a, a great pass to Molly for a, a three-point play. So uh, they made plays. They, they made plays. And... Uh, um, you know, we hold them under 40% shooting, and uh, the only other thing I got to say, I think Molly Horrigan is becoming the best defensive center in our league. I think she, she's just playing great and getting big rebounds and, and big blocks and allowing us to play people one-on-one. -on -one. So uh, that was the only other thought. But Raquel is just carrying this on her back, and I thought Lisa Miff said I was very proud of her because she didn't have a great game at Colgate, and she bounced back like a true champion. So nice job, Lisa. Yeah. Yeah. I just kept saying to we got to run stuff to get Rock the ball. I, I think I learned in the in the Lehigh game we didn't get her the ball enough down the stretch. So we ran. We called her number. Uh, she made a tough shot on the uh, on the fist four play. She made a real tough uh, play on the uh, well basic two that went might have been. Boston face was a real tough shot. So, yeah, we called her number. I mean, I'd be stupid if I wasn't calling her number. I mean, uh, but she only had 24 today. She didn't have 31, so I'm ticked off at her. But on a day that she gets her um, thousands, on a day that our alums are here, uh, on a day that it's National Girls and Women in Sports, I mean, it, it just it makes me feel good when you see all those kids high-fiving these guys because when I got in this game, girls' sports was not that big, and, and – their confidence was not that great. And to see those Hopkinton kids look up to these guys like they're the Celtics and just come over to me and, Coach, we played at halftime. You know, that, that's what really makes me smile that uh, women's basketball and girls' basketball has come so far in my 30 years. But uh, I'm just proud of these guys. They're great role models for these young girls. I'll score them from the foul line again, which we talk about. So. Uh, down, down the stretch, uh, you're taking a lead, maybe 10 points down the stretch. You close it, tied it, and then um, what? It was really both of you. Uh, each made key three pointers, a couple fearless drives to the basket. Lisa, tell me how do you stay cool down the stretch against a tough opponent? Yeah, I think we definitely responded well to their runs, but we just try to try to stay controlled on offense. Um, they they want to speed us up, but we just run our plays and we executed really well and we made big shots and. I think that's why, obviously, we kept the lead. Did you guys have any moments down the stretch? Where you, I know we just talked about mm -hmm. this, but any moments down the stretch where you were saying, uh oh, here we go again, we're at home, team's coming back on us, how would you kind of... I never thought of that. You guys. Um, definitely. I mean, when the game starts getting closer, it's just natural, kind of like your heart starts racing. You're like, okay, if this game gets tied up, it's going to be a completely different game. But I think a lot of times we try to focus on things that are like external, like yelling at the refs or doing like yelling at our teammates when really the, what we did today I think we all just controlled our individual game and we all just played the game to our best ability rather than focusing on things that we couldn't control because no matter what the score is no matter who you're playing every give, any given day the only thing that you can control is how hard you work and I think that everyone individually did that and that kind of transferred over to just a great team atmosphere and a great team win so I think that we just really focused on yeah. ourselves today and let it come yeah as a team. I okay. could see a difference I just that's what I've learned personally from the four losses at home is that once we had that lead and they start coming back, I tried to get myself to not freak out this game and just kept calm and made the right decisions and makes a huge difference. Makes a big difference. I think there's more pressure to win at home 
there's not as much pressure on the road for some reason. So, but to get to build off what Rocky said, I could tell in our huddles, and, and it comes down on me, but I could tell in our huddles today and, and the games on the road that they were all listening, whatever I said. Lisa has been making some good suggestions. And Lisa, if you make a suggestion and I don't use it, it's still a good suggestion because I'm thinking something else. But I'll say something, then Raquel will bring them together as they go on the court. And she'll reiterate it, and she'll say, we're not losing this game, guys. Stay composed on offense or whatever. So whereas at first, I think I was a little hepped up. They were a little hepped up. But I think when you can have a calming influence like these two guys to look to because they've been through it and to see Katie Doherty and Infinity. How about Infinity making a couple big defensive plays? And Katie Doherty, you keep forgetting she's a freshman, and Trisha Byrne gives us energy. And if Amy has not how I told her if she can give her six or eight minutes a game, you know, that's six or eight minutes that Rock can be much better because she's rested. So I, I love the way my four freshmen are playing right now. I love the way we're playing, but this is a big week for us. They were ahead of us. Now we get the tiebreaker on them, which is huge. We're a game ahead plus a half a game because of the tiebreaker. We got Army, no matter what happens, Army, Navy, they're coming in ahead of us. We got to go 1-0 and Wednesday. So everyone says you're moving up the, the ladder. We are moving up the ladder, but don't worry about anyone else. Worry about Holy Cross going 1-0 and each game, and we'll get our home game and, and be ready to make our run. So we're just taking care of ourselves. I'd just like to get a question. Mm -hmm. uh, 12th uh, junior to hit 1,000 points. Mm -hmm. How's that feel? And, uh... I don't know. It kind of mm -hmm. felt surreal. Like, when it happened, we were at Colgate, and they don't have how many points you score. So I had no clue. I thought I had, like, 15 yeah. points. I was just yeah. planning to come at the home game, maybe have, like, 10 points left. And I'd be like, all right, yeah, I'm 1,000 points. And then I went, I subbed out, and my teammates were like, oh, congrats. And I was like, what? And they were like, you got it. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, I had no clue. So, I mean, I never really thought about it, like, when people would start saying, oh, you're close. Um, I tried not to focus on it because a lot of times when you think too much, it, like, messes up your game. But it's just a huge accomplishment, and I'm just – Really proud of myself for getting it, and I'm just happy that I've had people to support me the whole way. My coaches, my teammates, my family, everyone's been really supportive of me. So I don't think I would have been able to do it without them. Can you two guys just talk about how it seemed like down the stretch you guys were looking for each other? It seems like more than anything, you two guys have a pretty chemistry. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, together. I mean, it seems like the and when I get in inside to her, it's usually um. Yeah probably what 99 percent time going in yeah. so i trust her when i pass the ball inside to her and i think we trust each other on the court and even freshman year like the two freshmen who actually were playing a lot were us too so we've mm. been playing together since freshman year um i think we know each other's game we know when people need to get picked up and when people yeah. need to just kind of like have a word to pick them up um but yeah i think that when we talk to each other and when we're together i think it really transfers to everybody else and it makes a huge difference so yeah, that chemistry is you can't teach that, but like the, the two, two and a half, no, almost three years playing together. But that's a big win, and I think it gives us confidence. I keep talking about confidence. Well, whatever it is, five out of six, uh, and we're looking forward. But well, the only thing we're looking to is savoring this one, getting them rest tomorrow, and we got two days to get ready for Army on TV. I uh, hope we get a big crowd, and, and that'll be a big one. Rematch of the Patriot League Championship, but a huge game standings-wise. They're all huge. But this is a real big one against Army, and they're coming in winning seven in a row or seven of eight, or eight in a row or seven of eight, depending on how it goes today. So we'll be ready for them. Yep. Good job. Thank you, guys. Thank you.